Over the past few weeks, Mark Gurman has revealed Apple's next SoC release schedule. It appears that they are bypassing the M3 entirely for the Mac Pro, Mac Studio, and Mac Mini, opting instead to go directly to M4. Judging by the rumors, M4 chips promise to deliver significantly greater power than their M3 counterparts, using even more AI cores, and likely featuring a higher-end chip specifically for the Mac Pro. All this sounds promising, especially if it means Apple could finally close the gap with Nvidia. But just how realistic is this scenario? Let's dive in and go into wild speculation mode. Currently, Apple lags behind Nvidia when it comes to rendering. If we compare Apple's best chip on the market, the M3 Max, to Nvidia's 4090, it's almost two times slower than what Nvidia has to offer. Apple hasn't released the M3 Ultra yet, and according to Gurman, they probably won't. But if we were to extrapolate M3 Max's numbers, the M3 Ultra could shorten that gap, but Nvidia's 4090 would still be ahead. And that's comparing it to Nvidia's two-year-old architecture. According to several rumors, Nvidia plans to release its new 5090 lineup by the end of 2024, potentially widening the gap even further. Apple has to somehow catch up, especially if they want to capture a portion of the 3D market. With all that in mind, the rumors about Apple skipping the M3 Ultra and going directly to M4 makes a lot of sense. According to Gurman, the M4 lineup will begin rolling out in late 2024 to middle of 2025, so Apple might have a fighting chance to compete. But how much better can the M4 Ultra be? So far, with each new generation, we get a 50-60% to boost when we jump from Max to Ultra. If we apply a similar pattern to the M4 Ultra, it's reasonable to expect a performance score of around 27,000 in Cinebench. This places it squarely within the performance range of a 4090, which would be fantastic if true. While it may still lag behind the upcoming uh, 5090, this performance would make the M4 Ultra a great all-rounder, perfect for tasks like graphic design, video editing, and general 3D work, and when the need arises, a great rendering machine. The M4 Ultra supposedly won't be the top-of-the-line chip. The rumors say that there's going to be an even more powerful chip reserved for the Mac Pro. Whether it's going to be twice as fast as the M4 Ultra or something close to that, we don't know. But if that actually happens, then we will finally have a Mac that will be faster than a 4090 and probably in the range of a 5090. On one hand, that's great news for all 3D artists using Macs and of course for the development of the neglected Mac Pro. The current version feels very much like an afterthought, and it's just terrible value for money. But all this performance will come at a cost, so let's talk a little bit about that. Currently, the baseline Macs are somewhat decently priced, but once we start adding more memory, storage, and GPU cores, the price just skyrockets to ridiculous levels. So even if we make the assumption that Apple will be able to compete with Nvidia's GPUs, the machines will still be prohibitively expensive. If the Mac Pro gets this new higher-end chip, I could easily see the cost going over the 15k mark. We can already exceed 10k with the M2 Ultra alone, so 15k doesn't sound like much of a stretch. But spending all this money doesn't make sense financially, especially if we take into account the fact that we're still early in the M series development. Let me show you what I mean. This is how M1 Ultra's GPU performs on Cinebench, and here's MacBook Pro's M3 Max. Of course, I love the fact that we get these big performance boosts, but from a financial point of view, it's a complete disaster. If you bought a first generation Mac Studio, you spent double the money for half of the performance of a laptop. So even though I think M4 will finally be able to compete with Nvidia's offerings, I think Apple needs to adjust its pricing. I know this will never happen, but currently the high-end machines are just way too expensive for what they offer, especially if we compare them to high-end PCs. A nicely spec Mac Studio, for example, is around 8K after taxes, and much more than that in Europe. 8K for that level of performance is just way too much. 
And this doesn't account for the fact that we cannot add more GPU cards like we can with a PC. For 8K or 10K for a Mac Pro, we can get a PC that can run circles around anything Apple will be able to offer. I know that this sounds like I'm planning to get a PC, but I'm not. I'm going to stick with a Mac for the time being, but Apple is certainly not making things easy. From whatever we can gather from all these rumors, it looks like M4 will be a step in the right direction, especially if we're going to get a powerful Mac Pro. But I'm definitely not going to spend 15k to get one, I'll just go with a Mac Studio. And I think that about wraps things up for this video. Let me know though what you think about the M4 lineup. Will they go all out with AI and GPU cores? I certainly hope so. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.